Uh, I said we street teaching and doing music to educate All praise, I had this gift in second grade Where I stay, they upgraded the murder from catching fades Let's just say you niggas is weak in seven days Cause how a nation come kidnap you and make you slaves Then separate their children and parents Change their names, no Damon Wayne For generations was major pain And we kill each other, but when it's done we don't say a thing You niggas tripping Well in other words, y'all niggas Christian Worship white Jesus when scriptures give his description And shout out to my kindred that's really living was written Right? We're in a cycle of going through and dealing with ideologies and nobody's telling our people that they're wrong. Our job is to come out here and tell you that you're wrong. Uh. Week in and week out. You can go hit the videos, we're gonna tell you you're wrong there also, and then we're gonna rebuke the nations. Uh. We're gonna tell Elam, he gonna get the same thing the white man's gonna get in the kingdom. Right? right? Equal opportunities and blue cards. Whatever your judgment is, we're gonna give it to you. That's What's right. your precept? It's the book of Psalm 119, uh, verse 142. Right. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Hey, the Most High God's law is the truth. Right. And if the truth, if the earth didn't have no truth in it, man, we, there'd be no hope, man. Right, we gotta look, look at something and say, man, what the Most High said is gonna happen, is gonna happen. Uh, right? right? These laws are the truth. These testimonies of the prophets are the truth. Right? His son dying for our sins, that's the truth. All of that. Right? right? Let me get that. God. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gate. In the city she uttereth her voice, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Hey, man, wisdom is going to be out here in these streets. God. It didn't tell you wisdom is going to be inside of the Christian church. It didn't tell you it's going to be at the mosque. The Bible says that wisdom is going to be in the streets. Right. Why is wisdom in the streets? Who taught in the streets? Do you know, sister? Do you know? Do you know who Jesus is? Yes. Did Jesus teach in the streets? Yes. He was teaching that wisdom, right? right. So why do our pastors sit their asses inside the church? Right. Because they ain't got no wisdom, right? <laughs> that, that's right. I ain't trying to trick you, I'm just trying to show you. That's right. Right? We did it again. God, she cried from the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gate, in the city she uttered her voice, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known to I will make known my words unto you. Right. Right, the Most High God's gonna make known his words unto Israel, not to everybody. Right. right, now who's Israel? Now we ain't talking about the people that's over in the land right now. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the actual biblical Israelites. Right. Right, you gotta keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, right, and faith in the Messiah who the world calls Jesus Christ. The quicker, the more y'all do that, the, fact, the sooner that we're out of this place, right? right? The sooner you can continue to see these prophecies across the water continue to speed up. Don't think that this place right here that's called America is your rest. America is not your rest. How can the place of your enslavement be your rest? Right? If somebody told me that the place that my ancestors were enslaved is my rest, I say, you a lie. Right? Use America for what you got to use it for. But when the missiles fly and this place is burned up, rejoice. That's what you should be doing. And if you read this Bible, you wouldn't know why. You got something? Go ahead. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 7. I'm going to start at verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Mm -hmm. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, 
nor, nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Right, so our job is to come out here and to seal the elect of the elect. Right, right? when you keep reading this, it's going to the 144,000. Right. When that 144,000 is sealed, it's, hey, it's nukes on America, right? right? When the elect is sealed, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's buttons being pushed by Vladimir Putin, right? right? Y'all think that Vladimir Putin is not gonna push that button, he gonna push it. Do you believe that? Hey, in the blue shirt, you believe that Vladimir gonna push that button? Hey man, he trying to have a good time on the harbor, right? Hey, you should be trying to have a good time in your kingdom. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, in my kingdom, you're not gonna have a good time. Right, right. It's not gonna be nothing nice, right? It's gonna be a whole lot of retribution in the kingdom. Right. <laughs> it's going to be some get back, right? Sure. But right now, the business at hand is to get our people to repent, right. right? And to come back to keeping these commandments. Somebody give me the, uh, what was it, Isaiah 30 and 21? Yeah. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 30, uh, verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Hey, how you doing there, brothers? How you doing there, elders? Hey, y'all believe in the Bible? Got a question for you. Can I ask you a question? So you gonna keep on walking past? Walk and talk at the same time. No, man. We gotta slow down and be able to talk for at least two minutes. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be honest. Our elders have been walking and talking for a long time. And look at the state of our communities, right? You might have something more important to do, but it just shows the lack of love that you have for our people, right? And this right here is the reason why you gotta have the younger, the younger crowd come out here and do this because the old vessels is not gonna do it. Right. The old vessels are trying to find a way to love and to make, and make it happen here in America. I'm not saying you can't make it happen, but I'm saying the old vessels think this is foolish. Right. What are you doing out here on a Saturday? You ain't going to holler at pastor on Sunday? That's what the old vessels are saying. You better be quiet before they get you, boy. That's what the old vessels say, right? But we ain't saying none of that. Go ahead, read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. for, the preaching, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish that perish foolishness. Right. But unto us which are yeah. saved it is the power okay. of God. Yep, keep going. Verse 19, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Right. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Mm -hmm. Where is the disputer of the world? Right. Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Right. Hey, man, God has made foolish the wisdom of this world. Uh, right. right. They tell you one second, they're about to fix the economy, this is going to do it. Then it flip back the other way, they're trying to fix it. They don't know what's going on. Right? They tell you we're gonna put all these sanctions on, on, on Russia and look what's gonna happen. He's gonna Putin gonna have to stop what he's doing after we do all this. Now Russia is the fifth largest economy in the world and the biggest economy in Europe. Right? right? Go figure. Hey man, I, I I think that there's no more wisdom in this place. Right? The white man losing his losing his power structure. Right? right? But it's playing that way. Keep going on that to uh three verse twenty one. God. For after the wisdom, verse twenty one. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Right. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And we ain't talking about your pastor in the Christian church, right? The, the pastor in the Christian church has been given the same spiel that's not in the Bible for years. Right? right? He's been telling for years you ain't got to keep no commandments, you ain't got to keep no laws. Just believe. He been telling you that you, if you sow a seed, you're going to get a new car. He been telling you all this crap that the Bible don't tell you. Right? He's been telling you this for years. And every single week, every single week, another black, Hispanic, or Native American child is put in the ground. Right? right? Because the Most High God said, if we don't keep these laws, then we're going to have shortened lives. Now, who's going to tell you that if you don't keep these laws, you're gonna have repercussions if it's not your pastor, right. right? Because your pastor really isn't your real pastor, right? right? He's set up for mammon. He's set up for money, 
We're not set up for no money. Right. We're set for our pe We're set up here just to do the will of the Father. Right. right? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to keep the laws of God and the faith in who the world calls Jesus Christ. When I say the laws, I mean all the laws, all the way down to the dietary laws. If you don't believe me and think I'm wrong, tell your pastor to come out here and I'll correct them and send them back to the church. Right? right. Go ahead. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Right. There are pastors according to Satan. Right. And then there's pastors according to the Most High God's heart. Right. Right. It's a lot of people that can be teaching you and moving you different directions on this in uh, in this earth. Everybody who's shit. What's your what's your uh, what's your boy that made him drink the Kool Aid? Jim what's Jones. Uh, Jim Jones? <laughs> hey, he hey, he was somebody pastor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, David Koresh. He was somebody pastor. Yeah. Right. It's a lot of pastors out there. Right. But why do why in the in the black, Hispanic, and Native American community, the pastors or the priests, right? How how come they haven't been able to fix our communities? Right. Because they set up by our enemies, who in turn is who in turn is uh, is working, uh, uh, who Satan is working through. Right. right. right? That's why. Right. The goal. Of, hey, hey, is something funny? Don't never come up here and talk though. No. Go ahead. Come. Verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, right. which shall feed you with knowledge right. and understanding. Right, because we have to feed our people with knowledge and understanding, right? We can't be feeding them with the wisdom of this world. Knowledge and understanding is what we have to give our people, right? I know, I know back down south, man, you can go into churches down south, man, it's a whole congregation of black folk. And a white pastor, right now today, what wisdom and knowledge is that pastor giving to that dang old congregation on how to better their community? None. None. They they about as close to be, to uh, to slavery as you can get, right? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites. All other nations are going into slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Because right now, if you're Black, Hispanic, and Native American, you're in hell. And your enemies are in heaven, right? You finishing one finish off on this? Yeah. No, oh, you done? You done? Yours? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter twelve, verse ten. Right. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. That's right. They have trod my portion underfoot. Mm -hmm. They have, it's lucky. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. Right. Many pastors have destroyed the vineyard of the Most High. Who's the vineyard of the Most High? The Israelites. Right. Right? Many pastors have destroyed that vineyard. Now that now now the vineyard is all overrun. It's got thorns. Right? It's got weeds all over the place. The fruit halfway grow on it. That's the vineyard. Right? If you take that, that vision and go look inside the inner city, you can't tell me that that's not a vineyard overrun. Right. You can't tell me that it's not. It's definitely not no beautiful vine. Right? Now who is gonna come in and do the work to clean up that vineyard? The Most High is not getting off his throne to do it. Right? So that means he gotta send somebody to do it. And through the foolishness of preaching is how we're gonna clean up our community, ultimately bring down this system, right? And put our house back in order, man. That's our job. Rain, sleet, or snow, whether your back hurt, your shoulder hurt, your feet hurt, it don't matter, man. We come out here every week just to keep that pressing forward, right? To do our part. You hear something? Yeah. Right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse... I'm going to start at verse 8. Verse 8. For you were sometimes in darkness, but now are you in the light. And the Lord, walk as children of the light. Verse... I'm going to... 11 and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them right can't have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness what's a work of darkness <laughs> shit look at babylon america right. right every turn that you take it's an unfruitful dark work this place is dark right God. america's a dark place right brother right. right don't be afraid to say it it's a dark place 
right? You got men wanting to be women, women wanting to be men, right? They tell you that you can eat anything that's good for you, right? Right? They tell you that uh, that this place is set up for prosperity for everybody. When we see the same people ruling and getting more and more every year. How you doing, brother? How you doing? You believe in the Bible? What's your What's your stance on the Bible? You said it's great. Can I read something for you? Hey man, you might not have another time, right? See, the other thing that we do when we come out here is we mark people. That's right. Right? Just, 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 uh, I'm not the type of person, the type of teacher that's going to try to talk to everybody that walks past. Sometimes it's just the spirit on me trying to ask. Right? right? You ain't denying me. You denying something else. Right. Somebody else. The most high ultimately is who you deny. Right. What you waving at? You. Why? I see you. You see me? <laughs> You hear me? What you see and what you hear? Good stuff. You hear good stuff. Right? Wait until I tell you about slavery in the kingdom of heaven. That's good stuff. Oh, struck a nerve. Hey, but the Bible says it. So do I teach all of it or I teach some of it? Say it again. You're adopted. What's that mean? What's that mean? Romans 9 says the adoption is for the Israelites. Right. What, what are we talking about? Right. She's adopted. <laughs> hey, man, you can be adopted or have a daddy. Your ass going in the field if you're not an Israelite. That's right. That's what I know. I don't give a good God dang on if you adopted, got a daddy, don't got one, got a sister or brother. If you're not an Israelite, you're going in the field to work. Right. That's what I know. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord saith, For as much as this people draweth near unto me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Right, our minds are removed from the most high God. Right? It's a bunch of a bunch of talking. I love God. I love Jesus. I love, I love, I love. But when you ask somebody to do something, to do one of these laws, oh brother, we ain't gotta do that. Right. What you mean, what you mean? What you mean? What you, what you talking about? He told you to do it. Ah, they're going to try to find a way some not loophole. to do it. It's, it's got to be some loophole. It's got to be a loophole out there that means I don't have to do this thing. Right? That's that's the mindset of a wicked black or Hispanic or Native American. It's the fact that you believe that you can circumvent the judgments that the Most High God has put on your people. Right? You believe that you're going to be able to get this, this uh, salvation that you want so much some other way. And you got the nerve to tell God that you're going to get salvation without keeping his laws. Right. That is crazy. That, that right that there, is that right there is absolute madness. Is right? right? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Bring it up. Prepare slaughter for his children. Oh, yeah, the brother was going back just to reaffirm what he was telling the lady that walked by. Right. Prepare slaughter for his children, right. for the iniquity of their fathers. Right. They do not, uh, Salaki, they, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill, uh, fill the face of the world with cities. How you doing, bro? He, he, this brother said he live in Charlotte. He okay, what's wrong? Uh, you on Southeast West University? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jason. 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 Yeah, man, prepare slaughter for his children. For, the, for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, man. But blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have got to repent. How you doing, sister? How y'all doing? We out here teaching our people repentance according to the Bible. Do you know what it means to repent? What uh, what does it mean to repent? Huh? I I ain't gonna give you no trick question. I'm, I'm asking a serious question. What is, what does it mean to repent? She ain't ready for it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. If you got questions? Let us know. Uh, let me. You're welcome. Hey, keep the laws. Keep the laws of God in the faith of who the world calls Jesus. Start there. Tap into the information on the flyer, right? If you walk by, 
and you, and you hear this uh, this voice on this microphone, whether you hear everything I'm saying or a little bit of what I'm saying, right? The most high technically could be just marking you. Yeah. Right? That's it. Let me get that uh, 3 and 17. It's the book of uh, Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Right. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Hey, man, somebody got to watch over blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Somebody got to watch over our people. Uh. Right? You can look and see right now that somebody has not been watching over the vineyard. Right. right. And that's why all the damn rabbits keep eating up every piece of fruit in the vineyard. Right. I'm a watchman. My job is to look over my people, right? My job is not to go into the damn church and be a coward right. and sit behind a pew, right, and hope they come to me. And then when I walk outside, jump in my Bentley and go to the house. That's not my job. My job is to come out here to the streets and give the information because this is where they at, right? We gotta go to them. If hey, look, if 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 I was doing wrong, I'm not gonna go to the person that's gonna rebuke me. The person that rebukes me has gotta come to me, right? So you set up shop and you let wisdom cry, right? Uh, keep going through the. You went through 18. Go through 18. Then. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth right. and give them warning from me. Right, man, I got to give you warning. Right. I got to let you know that, you're, that the people that you say are your friends now are actually your enemies. Right. I got to give you warning that if you don't repent, you're going to die soon. Right. Right. I got to give you warning that there are diseases written in this book for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans based upon the sins that you can uh, continue to commit. Right. I got to warn you. And then he said there's diseases that are not in the book that are there for you too. That he had just concocted later on down the road because he knew how wicked you would be. Right. I got to put something different on because that dang on, that measles just didn't work. Ain't enough. Right. I'm going to give, give, give you triple measles then. Right? right? That's, that's what the most high do. Right. Until he ain't going to give you no more diseases, the play he's he going to give you is that missile. Right? right? He gonna give you some death by pain. He might let you starve, right? I gotta give you a warning that if you don't repent, that's gonna happen to you. Finish that off. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. See, it's not me that said that you're gonna die if you don't turn from your wicked ways. It's God. Right. Right? If you're black, Hispanic, or Native American, you gotta repent and keep the commandments of God. That's right. Right? It's God that said to warn you. Right? And what do you say if I don't warn? Wicked, uh, it's like, uh, warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Right? The same wicked man shall die in his, uh, it die, die, it's like, it die in his iniquity. Right? But his blood will I require at thine hand. Hey, man, it's going to be my fault if I don't warn you. Right. And you, hey, man, you for sure. I'm going to warn you. Right. I, I just don't want that blood on my hands, man. Ah. Right? I'd rather you keep the blood on your own hands. That's right. Right? Uh, what you have? You have a precept? Yeah. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. Therefore the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore... Wrong judgment proceeded. Right. There's wrong judgments that proceed in the earth. Right? It's wicked judgments. They'll tell you that you can do any any and everything in this place. Right? And who who propagates that? Hey man, that, that man right there in the Christian church. Come as you are. We we accept all. I'm gonna fly this rainbow in the in the front of the church. Right? And why does he do that? He does that because he know that money gonna come in, right. right? That's why he does it. He don't do it for no other reason, right? Because if our pastors read this Bible and they know the things this Bible says and they don't warn you, now the blood is on their hand. Right. So you guarantee in the days that come, you gonna see a lot of pastors dropping dead, right? right? Or just caught up in judgments, heavy. Because they're the ones that got our people to the state of even being two-thirds, by and large. Right. Right. Or played a heavy role, I should say. Right? 
they played a heavy role in just following what they learned in the school, right. even though they read something different right. and said, I'm going to take this check, even right. though I read something different. Right. They play a heavy part in what we got going on inside of our communities. Right? right? But it's okay. Look how quick the Most High put some men on the street back during the mid and late 60s. Right. Hit the block. Right. And what is that? 60 years? 60 years later, nah. and then 60 years later, Russia. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. After how many years of, 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 uh, um, of black folk teaching in the church? Right. And nothing coming to pass, nothing. except for, the, except for the, the normal, I mean, you can say normal str uh, string of prophecies the most high needed to come to pass. Right. But this stuff that's jumping off in the world right now is because you got brothers like us out here. Right. It's because you got brothers like, like Watchmen out here. Because you got even the brothers that are, are GMS, right? Everybody plays a part in this body to make this thing happen, right? Right? Everybody does. Right. And that's the only way that the end is going to come and that elect is going to be sealed. Right. It ain't going to happen no other way. Right. What I got you on, 14? Yeah. yeah, hit that. It's the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. Yeah. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them. And do what? And compel them. Hey, I got to compel you. I got to compel you and let you know that your pastor has been teaching you wrong. I got to compel you and let you know, black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, woman, and child, that you're an Israelite. I got to compel you and show you the history of the Aztecs, Incas, and Mayans, and the Tainos, and the Native Americans, right? I got to show you the history of the New Testament calling the prophets niggas. Right. I got to compel you, right? Because you got so much stuff that's jumbled up in your mind, right? That it's hard to sift through the bullshit. Right. But for the past 60 years, brothers have been on the street through the foolishness of preaching, right. compelling you. Right. And here we are, right? Finish that off. Unless you did already finish. No. Yeah, go ahead. And compel them mm -hmm. to come in. Right. That my house may be filled. Right. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there went a great multitude with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come unto me, uh, so like, if any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and wife, and children and brethren and sisters, yes, and his own life also he cannot be my disciple. Right, man, we gotta give it all up, man. Right. We come out here teach our people who they are, right? And we willing to give it all up. So what if you what if your wife's like, man, I, I'm not dealing with this Israelite stuff. Then don't deal with it, woman. Right. I'm about to go hit the block. That's, That's right. right. Right? Through the woman sin entered. Right. Just remember this. Through the woman, sin entered into our nation, right? right? Into our nation. Right. And the whole reason that it was able to enter is because Adam ain't, they ain't do what he was supposed to do. Right. Got to correct it, right? So you dang on right. When I come out and hit this block, I'm doing it 1,000% for the most side of his son. Right. right? Anybody else that got a problem with it, you just have to have a problem with it. That's right. right. Just gonna have to have a problem with it. Because in 2nd Ezra, it tells me that that fire is on one side and the water's on the other, and then you got a gate. And it tells me that everybody can follow each other, but I, you can't walk in with me anyway. So, what is the purpose of me coming out here teaching my people to repent and then let you tell me that you don't believe and me fall out? What's the purpose? Nah, man, you got to say 10 toes down and keep doing what you do. Right. Week in and week out, teach our people who they are and to repent and come back as Israelites, right? All we're doing is putting this, this, uh, this tabernacle of David together, man. Right. That's it. What you have? I got preach up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. My people have been lost sheep. Right. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Hey, man, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right. The brother just, just confirming what I said before. Right? right? The shepherds are, those pastors have, have uh, caused 
the Israelites to go astray, right? And even to the standpoint of the women ruling, running the household, right. they've been pastors to an extent too, right. right? And then our men acting like Adam and just not correcting the household as a whole, right? right? This is how the sheep were scattered. Go ahead. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have gone from their resting place, and all that found them devoured them. Right. And their adversary says, said, we offend not because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Right. See, our enemies like, man, they sinned against the Most High, so right. we don't, we're not offending nobody. Right. It's an all right to be able to do this. Right. Right. right? And we went from, from mountain to hill. What does that mean? From nation to nation. We went seeking salvation, seeking help, and we went everywhere except for where we were supposed to be going to, which was the most high. Right. Right? We went everywhere except for where we were supposed to be going. And who and who helped us do that? <laughs> the pastors. Yep. Right? It was right there. The right? The true pastors are right here in front of you right now. Right. Right? right? True evangelists, true ministers, right? Teaching the Bible, rough, raw, unadulterated, uncut, yes, sir. right? Answering the questions, not being afraid of what it says, right? And giving you the true understanding, the true meaning. Right, right. But again, who's going to do that for you? It ain't going to be nobody else except for some, uh, some young brothers that felt compelled enough to come out here and to compel you. Right, right. Um, what you got? And then after I hit that Matthew. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 26. I'm going to start at verse uh, 5. To hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I sent unto you, both rising up early, sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Hey, man. Most are rising up early, sending us out, man. Right? We are here in the streets all different type, times of the day. Right. Different days of the week. Different weather. Shoot, like, two weeks ago it was 100 degrees out in this mud. Next week is raining and, and lightning. <laughs> right? And we're just doing our job, man. Right. Hey, let me tell you something. If it's raining or if it's hot, you gonna go to your you gonna go to your enemy's job workplace right. every day, right. right? So you better if you if you have uh, put your hand to the plow to be a teacher, you better keep coming out here and do what you gotta do, right? Right. Number one, your, uh, the most important thing is the fact that your Messiah told you to do it, right? Right. And that's the only way you're gonna put your family back together, man. Right. You got a responsibility. Uh, twenty-two and one. Uh huh. We're gonna probably go through. Let's see. We're probably gonna go through. I mean, of course, that's the point. But yeah, go ahead. It's the book of uh, Matthew, chapter twenty-two, verse one. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, "The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, <laughs> a certain king, which made a marriage for his son." Right and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the, to the wedding. Hey man, he sent forth the servants to call them that were bidden to the, to the, uh, to the wedding, right? Who are the servants? Hey, at, at this point in time right here, the, the disciples, right. right? Then later on, the apostles, right? And then after that, you still got more apostles that are sent out right now. Right? Right. That ain't going to stop. You think the Most High stopped, stopped bringing the children of Israel back to him? Uh, uh, um, he started doing it a whole different way? No. Same way, new look. Right. Same exact way, new look. By the foolishness of preaching. That's right. the only way he's going to do it. Yep. Right? It's got to be It's got to be somebody in front of you that you're like, yo, these jokers are crazy. They're crazy. They waste their whole weekend doing this every weekend. Brother, I know you ain't number 20, 21 years old, man. I know you, you got some other you stuff. You got some other stuff you could be doing. What you doing out here? Got you. What you doing out here? I know y'all got kids. Uh, you, you 
you should be you should be out somewhere spending time with your children. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. For uh, for these brothers right here, if we don't do this, then that puts our families in a worse situation. Right. 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 We definitely got a, a, a held to a different standard. Not talking about us as a camp. Talking about anybody who hits this, hits this pavement and teaches our people. Right. You held to the standard of building the, uh, the tabernacle of David. Right? right? Let me, uh, what you about to hit? That's fine, you can go ahead. Oh, you about to, you trying to jump the gun, man. Come on. Go ahead. All right, this is the, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter four. I'm gonna start at uh, verse uh, 10. Uh, well, go ahead. Let's we'll start at verse 10. And, uh, spirit, go ahead. Uh, he ascended, he descended. So like, I'm gonna start at verse nine. Now that he ascended, what it is, but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is uh, the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles right. and some prophets right. and some evangelists right. and some pastors right. and some teachers mm -hmm. for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Right. He gave all, all these different types of teachers for the edifying of the body of Christ. Right. Now, what, what is that? What is an edifice? An edifice is a building. To edify means to build up. Right. Right. That's that's our job is to build up this nation, right? God, this is the book of Amos, chapter nine, and verse eleven. Right. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David right. that is fallen, right. and close up the breaches thereof. Right. I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom right. and all the heathen which are called by my name, right. saith the Lord that doeth this. Right. We build the tabernacle of David during the time of David. I got a question for you. Question for you. I got a question. During the time of David, right, rebuilding the, rebuilding the tabernacle of David, what was Israel like? If you know, if you know the Bible, what was Israel like during the time of David? Say again? You said a lot of fighting? But who was winning? God was winning through who? Through the Israelites, right? So all the other nations were in subjugation, right? The Edomites, which you would be an Edomite. Edomites, they had garrisons in the land, right? Y'all were paying tribute. And the breaches were closed up, which are the schisms and divisions of our people. Right. All 12 tribes were together. Right. That's what we're trying to build and get back to, right? right. So blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to understand that you are the tabernacle of David, right? right? And that tabernacle has fallen. But we're here to help close those breaches up. 